Frank Cornelius is the guy who wrote the Miami Heat championship song, a guy known for his dark glasses. When people see me without my glasses, they're like, hey, where are your glasses? I didn't know you see without your glasses. <laughs> Those were the fun days for Frank. And then his wife, Jennifer, got the news. She had breast cancer. You feel scared. You feel like, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. That was right after Jennifer's father passed away and her mother got sick. The words breast cancer overwhelmed her. It hit her pretty hard. I, she didn't get out of the bed for like two days um, behind it, and we had to do something. Frank is a singer, songwriter, and motivator, and he decided to find a way to inspire Jennifer, to remind her she can beat cancer. And so he pulled up in her SUV. And I named it Cancer, True Love, and R&B. The basic behind it is there is life after a diagnosis. Frank put a wrap around Jennifer's SUV, showing them wearing gloves to fight cancer. And with the slogan, cancer is not always the end of life. It shows their Facebook page where Frank has videos of Jennifer getting ready for her treatment. Open, you open yours. Frank likes to distract Jennifer before her chemo. <laughs> Jennifer loved the SUV and the videos. It reminded her every day she was going to beat cancer and it helped inspire people she saw while driving. Roll the window down if we like at the stoplight, give me a word of encouragement or I have someone that's battling it, can you give me some information? And then she walked outside and she seen the green violation stuck on the truck. The property manager for the Santa Monica Homeowners Association in Tamarack sent this letter calling the cancer SUV a commercial vehicle that if Jennifer didn't remove it from the property, it would be towed and they would be hit with fines up to $100 per day and $1,000 per incident. It's very painful, like an, another disease just developed for me. Frank argues it's not a commercial vehicle, it doesn't make them a dime, it's just to inspire Jennifer and anyone else battling cancer. That truck actually opens up conversation to all types of cancers and ideas on why should I get checked. The Corneliuses are renting the townhouse and can't park the truck in their garage because it's filled with stuff from their house they just sold. But Jennifer doesn't want to stop driving her cancer SUV and moved in with her mother while Frank fights the association. We understand that there are rules, but we want them to look deeper inside because nobody is exempt from any type of cancer. Howard, it's an SUV that is inspiring Jennifer to beat cancer. Can an association call it a commercial vehicle and force them to move it? In my opinion, they cannot. After reviewing the association's documents, I don't believe that this SUV with non-commercial advertising qualifies as a commercial vehicle. And I think most people and a judge would not want to force Jennifer to give up an SUV that inspires her. In a phone call, the property manager told me his child had fought cancer. In an email, the association president told me he was a cancer survivor. Both men said they sympathized with Mrs. Cornelius, but the president added, the homeowners association has rules and regulations that I have an obligation to uphold. They then sent a letter to the Cornelius's landlord that read, as a courtesy to the Help Me Howard representative, we would like to invite you and your tenant to present your tenant's case as to why they should be allowed to park their vehicle with the advertising violation in their driveway. Frank will be there to fight to keep their cancer battling SUV that Jennifer believes has made a difference in her life. You have something to walk out to motivate you to, you know, keep you fighting. Keep fighting, Jennifer and Frank, and we'll be following you. Now, we'll be at that October meeting to see if the board agrees with Howard that the SUV to inspire Jennifer to fight cancer is perfectly legal and she can park it in their driveway. Losing the inspiration to beat a problem? Want someone to wrap their arms around the solution? Contact us. We have the cure. It's called the law mixed in with hard work and compassion. With this help me, Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.